It's a claim you've probably heard multiple times, data is the new oil. Now it's true, that in some ways, the analogy fits. It's easy to draw parallels due to the way information, data, is used to power much of the transformative technology we see today, artificial intelligence, automation and advanced, predictive analytics. However, in many ways, it's also lazy and inaccurate, and while it's handy as a marketing shorthand, because it gets across the fact that data is a valuable commodity with many different uses across many applications, it's also potentially problematic. The concept is usually credited to Clive Humby, the British mathematician who established Tesco's Club Card Loyalty Program. Humby highlighted the fact that, although inherently valuable, data needs processing, just as oil needs refining before its true value can be unlocked. However, data also has many other properties which cause the analogy to break down on more detailed inspection. For a start, while oil is a finite resource, data is effectively infinitely durable and reusable. This means that treating it like oil, hoarding it and storing it in silos, has little benefit and reduces its usefulness. Nevertheless, due to the conception that it is similar to oil, scarce. This is often what is done with it. Oil requires huge amounts of resources, including oil itself, to be transported to where it is needed. Data, on the other hand, can be replicated indefinitely and moved around the world at the speed of light, at very low cost, through fiber optic networks. Data also becomes more useful the more it is used, rather than its energy being lost as heat or light, or permanently converted into another form such as plastic, as when oil is used. Once processed, data often reveals further applications. For example, medical data collected from patients can help a doctor diagnose and treat an individual patient. After that, it can be anonymized and fed into machine learning systems to generate broader insights that can benefit many, many more. Treating data like oil, using it once then assuming its usefulness has been depleted and disposing of it, would certainly be a mistake. As the world's oil reserves dwindle, extracting it becomes increasingly difficult and expensive. Conversely, data is becoming increasingly available as computer technology advances, more of our business and leisure activity moves online, and sensors become more sophisticated. Data, particularly big data, also has far more variety than oil. The crude oil which is drilled from the ground is processed in a variety of ways into many different products of course, but in its raw state, it is all the same. Data can represent words, pictures, sounds, ideas, facts, measurements, statistics or anything else which can be processed by computers into strings of ones and zeros that make up digital information. Of course, data, like oil is a source of power, 